I got my little helper here today, guys. Say hello, Ryzen. Hello. Oh, she wants down. <laughs> All right, so Roslyn is um, feeding the chickens in the chicken coop here. And I'm about to fix this sucker up. You trying to feed the chickens? You giving them feed, baby? Uh oh, did you hit a head? Did you hit your head? Ooh, look at that booty. Oh my goodness. You feeding them? Whoa, they're crazy, aren't they, little baby? Hey, come over here, Roslyn. Come here, baby. What's the chicken doing? What's he doing? You're just trying to feed him, aren't you? Yeah, get some feed. And you gonna feed him? Oh, baby, that's so sweet. Thank you for doing that. All right, guys, I'm out here at the chicken coop with Rosalyn. Can you tell him hey? Hey, there she is. She's been helping me feed the little chickens and whatnot. And uh, we're actually out here fixing my um, coop doors for where we get our eggs at. So yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, what I've done is I've built a, uh, like a dumb waiter system where I've got weights on the inside of the coop that as I open the, um, I guess the brooder box door, it stays up for me so I can get eggs with Rosalind. And I can get the eggs and then when I'm done, I can lower that door and it, it goes back to normal. So I'll kind of show you an example of what I mean. It's pretty cool. Okay. Let's show them, Roslyn. We've got the eye bolt right there that runs into a hole through the coop and into the inside. And as I raise the door, it stays open. So I can reach in, get the eggs or whatnot. And you can see the weights right there in the back. It's five pounds worth of weight. And then I can shut it and it goes back to normal. Cool little update, simple, but hey, it really helps out, especially when you got a little baby. Here's a shot from the inside of the coop in the brooder boxes. And you can see it's just two 2.5 pound weights. So it's five pounds of weight tied onto um, like paracord, I guess, with a simple pulley that I got from Walmart and a hook system that I've got uh, you bolted into the roof there. So very simple, but very effective. You think it's a good system, Roslyn? You just worried about feeding them chickens, aren't you, baby? Roslyn, you dumping out that water for daddy? Go ahead and dump it out. Let's give them some fresh. Good job. Now back up. Good. That's a good way to take care of the chicken. And don't play in the water though. That's gross. All right. Good. You want to help me fill it up? Yeah, let's fill it up, baby. There's our pile all raked up. I'll probably give it a good wet too. All right. So, Roslyn, you're going to scrub out this water for daddy. Have you got your equipment? You got you a 3M scotch Bright pad? That's good. Smell it? Yeah, you a sweet baby. All right, let's scrub this thing out. Special thanks to uh, uh, Tim Borden for helping me fix this outdoor frost-free um, spout or spigot. So we'll turn this on a little bit. Little tip, if you've got these frost-free spigots, uh, Tim told me, that's a pretty good tip, 
is to, when you close them, you don't have to bear down all the way until it completely closes, because then you'll stress out that gasket that's about a foot inside your house. So on these frost-free spigots, just, you know, kind of hand tighten them just enough to where it drains out and is done. So, pretty good tip. All right, here we go. Ready for the water? Ready? All righty. Now scrub it. Let's, let me show you. Give it a little scrubby scrubby. Or do you want to do the water part? I figured you'd want to do that part. Don't spray daddy. Ooh, I'll be so mad. Ooh. All right, Roslyn. All right, baby. We got it scrubbed off. You ready to go? Come on back with me. Come on over here. Roslyn, you ready to go? Or you just want to mess with the water? You want to mess with the water? <laughs> Girl, where are you going? Come over here. Yeah, here's the pen over here. Yeah. Yeah, going this way. Good job. And we'll set our water back up for the chickens. They're loving that pile we made for them, aren't they, baby? Here, we'll stick them right here. And then we gotta go get our water. And then we'll fill it up. You ready to put the lid back on, baby? We gotta let it fill up first. Hey Roslyn, does it meet your approval? You gonna bathe in it? Is it clean for the chickens? That's how they stay healthy, you know. Plenty of food and clean water. Yeah. Good job, baby. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us today. We got the water cleaned out and filled. We fed them really good, you can see. And we worked on finishing up the um, brooder box system for the door. So we kind of made an automatic, um, so to speak, um, brooder box door opener out of just a, uh, a pulley and, you know, like a way to attach it to the ceiling. Uh, some paracord or twine, whatever you got, would work. And then uh, some weights. And those weights I actually got from Walmart, believe it or not, for like $1.97 a piece. So dirt cheap. That whole system there probably cost 6 bucks. So I'll be doing the other door on the other side of the coop uh, probably next week. And then we'll have a completely automatic little system to where when I bring little booger out here, I can hold her and check the eggs. <laughs> you want down, baby? What's wrong? Here, I'll put you down. She likes to play in the chicken water. She's proud of herself, I guess. Aren't you? Thank you, guys. See you all next time.